हमारे वक्त की धड़कन हमारा चिंतन हमारी भावनाएं हमारे विचार कभी कोमल बातचीत तो कभी इंटरेक्शन तेज तर्रार तय करें मिलकर वॉट इज रॉन्ग वॉट इज राइट आई टीवी पर अशोक व्यास के साथ इन साइट टू नाइट नमस्कार मैं अशोक व्यास कार्यक्रम का नाम इन साइट टूनाइट अशोक व्यास आज का दिन सोमवार और आज के दिन हम बात करते हैं राजनीति की देखते हैं भारत की तरफ क्या हो रहा है किसने क्या कहा और जो कहा गया उस पर दूसरी पार्टी के नेताओं ने क्या कहा इसके अलावा कोई विशेष समाचार पिछले कुछ समय से भारत से हम तक आ नहीं पा रहा है हालांकि कुछ महत्वपूर्ण घटनाएं ऐसी हुई हैं जिन पर चिंता की जानी चाहिए जिन पर शोक होने के साथ साथ आगे इन बातों के दूरगामी परिणाम क्या होंगे उस पर भी चिंतन किया जाना चाहिए गंभीरता पूर्वक मुख्य मुद्दों की तरफ न बढ़ते हुए जो मुद्दे हवा में हैं उन पर देखें अगर हम तो क्या प्राथमिकता है सरकार की ये सवाल भी उठता है और क्या प्रायोरिटीज है हमारे नेताओं की इन दिनों इस पर चर्चा करने के लिए हमारे स्टूडियो में तीनों पार्टियों का समर्थन करने वाले तीन सदस्य हैं जो न्यूयॉर्क न्यू जर्सी में बैठे हैं पर उनकी धड़कने कहीं ना कहीं भारतीय राजनीति के साथ धड़क रही है आज जब हम बात कर रहे हैं प्रायोरिटीज की द क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रायोरिटी इन द लाइट ऑफ द वे थिंग्स आर शेपिंग अप जस्ट इन द थिक ऑफ इंडियन इलेक्शन नरेंद्र मोदी अमेठी जाते हैं और धन्यवाद देते हैं सोनिया गांधी को जिन्होंने ये वक्तव्य दिया कि वो अभी से प्रधानमंत्री की तरह अपने आप को पेश कर रहे हैं तो नरेंद्र मोदी इसकी प्रतिक्रिया में कहते हैं कि मैडम के मुंह में घी शक्कर कहीं थोड़ा विनोद कहीं थोड़ा हास्य पर जितने वक्तव्य प्रियंका गांधी ने अमेठी में बैठकर दिए और जिनको मीडिया ने हाथों हाथ लिया राजनीतिक पंडितों ने कहीं ये अनुमान लगाना भी शुरू कर दिया कि क्या इससे राहुल गांधी हाशिए पर हो गए हैं बहुत समय से बहुत गर्मा गर्म खबरें अरविंद केजरीवाल की हम तक नहीं आई हैं पर वाराणसी में डेरा जमाए हुए अरविंद केजरीवाल ने कुछ समय पहले एक वक्तव्य ऐसा दिया जो थोड़ा उन्हें सुर्खियों तक अलग तरह से ले गया जब उन्होंने ये प्रश्न चिन्ह लगाया कि जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी और कांग्रेस को वोट देने वाले हैं वो लोग राष्ट्र और खुदा के साथ द्रोह कर रहे हैं क्या हो रहा है देश में किस तरफ करवट लेने वाला है चुनावों का ये अंक गणित इस पर और प्राथमिकता पर चर्चा करने के लिए आज हमारे स्टूडियो में कांग्रेस की तरफ से हैं राजेंद्र जी राजेंद्र जी कांग्रेस इंडियन नेशनल ओवरसीज कांग्रेस के साथ बहुत समय से सक्रिय रहे हैं और आप हमारे कार्यक्रम में पहले भी पढ़ा चुके हैं और आ, मेरी आ, दाई तरफ बैठे हैं विभूति झा जी जो मोदी के समर्थक हैं विधिवत भारतीय जनता पार्टी से आपका संबंध नहीं है पर विशेष रूप से इन्हें लगता है कि मोदी की सरकार आनी चाहिए तो ये उस नारे को मानने वाले हैं कि अब की बार मोदी सरकार और इससे बिल्कुल उलट इससे बिल्कुल विपरीत इसका विरोध करने वाले हैं राकेश बिसारिया जी जो आम आदमी पार्टी के समर्थक हैं वॉलेंटियर हैं और जैसा उनके पीछे आप देख रहे हैं चित्र अरविंद केजरीवाल जी का वो भी झाड़ू से सिस्टम को साफ करना चाहते हैं सो देर आर मेनी इश्यूज विच हैव कम टू द लाइट ऑफ लेट एंड वन ऑफ दैम हैपन्स टू बी द इश्यू ऑफ स्नूप गेट अबाउट विच गवर्नमेंट डिक्लेयर दैट इट इज determined to appoint a judicial committee to probe into the allegation of snoop gate and many of you are aware of what snoop gate is but i'll request rajinder ji to share with us uh, set uh, the stage for us what is uh, snoop gate and why so much attention to it uh, good evening uh, to the itv viewers um, thank you vyas ji for having me over again um, the gujarat government uh, conducted a surveillance on uh, one of the la uh, lady architects madhuri uh, violating the indian uh, telegraph act and they have uh, tapped her phones they have tapped the phones of her uh, friends and her relatives without uh, uh, without any notice or without any uh, reason so it is uh, violating the basic fundamentals of a person's right and violating the indian telegraph act which is illegal 
and unethical. So that is uh, briefly, uh, I appreciate Rajinderji explaining uh, Snoopgate to us and he said in a definite way, but when there is a question of judicial probe, meaning maybe there are certain facts that needs to be established and how serious is this uh, at this stage when this government is likely to change, even if uh, it is UPA3, still it's going to be a different government. So was there any urgency to have this probe uh, start its work before 16th May, that is another question. And Rakesh ji, what has been your observation in terms of government's handling of uh, this issue since December when it came to light? Yeah, I, I would agree that there was a fundamental breach of uh, uh, the individual's rights, and this was done without uh, due process. But the timing is suspect. Uh, I would agree with you. The timing uh, is a, a little suspect because this inquiry was established earlier uh, around December or January time frame, and then they did nothing about it. They forgot about the entire issue, and just before the elections, now they want to get into a judicial inquiry. But as you know, um, the uh, other parties that are uh, uh, part of the UPA alliance, they have opposed it. They said the timing is not good. So eventually it was decided that the judge, judge would be appointed once the elections are over. So uh, that is quite a late development. Just as we started this show a couple of hours ago, probably uh, this has been uh, come uh, to the light that government has decided not to pursue this. But before that, there were many, many statements, uh, very forceful statements from Kapil Sibyl as well as other uh, ministers. And then there was one spokesperson of Congress which was uh, giving interviews. Uh, giving uh, interviews and establishing that how serious this crime is or Mantri Mahode uh, ne is tarah ki baatein bhi kahi ki is tarah se puri mahilaon ka apman hua hai, mahilaon ki sthiti khatre mein hai, um, phir uh, virod karne walo mein jaha uh, national conference uh, ke neta uh, Farooq Abdullah ji ka naam aya, wahi Sharad Pawar ji ne bhi isko oppose kiya aur baad mein uh, Kendriya Mantri Kamal Nath bhi iske virod mein खुल कर सामने आए कि ये टाइमिंग ठीक नहीं है तो इस इशू को इस तरह से उठाया जाना और इतने समय तक जो कोई जज अपॉइंट किए जाने का प्रयास किया जाता रहा था तो जज बार बार मना करते रहे थे सो दैट इज अनदर थिंग एंड अरुण जेटली सेड दैट नो जज इज लाइकली टू एक्सेप्ट दिस ऑफर उसके बारे में भी कांग्रेस का ये कहना था कि इस तरह से जेटली ने एक तरह से थ्रेटनिंग टोन में जजेस को धमकाया सा है ये कहकर सो इन द लाइट ऑफ ऑल दिस एंड ऑफ कोर्स वी नो एज राकेश जी सेड दैट गवर्नमेंट हैज चेंज इट्स स्टैंड बट काफी सारी स्टेटमेंट्स uh, इसके बारे में आते रहते तो ये जो um, पूरा इश्यू है इसको लेते हुए गवर्नमेंट की प्रायोरिटी के बारे में और इस इशू के बारे में आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे Thank you very much for having me here, and uh, I'm delighted to be with such eminent people around. The Snoop Gate is an unfortunate event. I mean, there is no way I can or anybody will justify that there is a snooping on the character or the investigation beyond the due process. Having said that, as both the gentlemen said, especially Rakesh ji said that, it was seeming to be a political vendetta. And I believe, if I, my, if I read the news correctly, the state government has already started the due process in the sense that there is always a commission appointed to look into the matter of what exactly happened. So the question is, let's just, let, us, let it go at the moment, and when the appropriate time comes, the investigations will say what exactly happened. At the moment, none of us know. So at the moment, all that we are going to do is pass assessments and injunctions, which have no meaning at all. But important point here is to, very, very important point to note here is that Omar Abdullah, and NCP, they objected to the Congress parties, their allies stand on this matter. And this is not the only case. There was a previous case as well when the Congress party began to talk about 2002. At that time also NCP has said that let's not bury, let's let the buried remain as it is, instead of raking up something which has been settled in a due process of law. So um, before uh, we go further, the question is, question of priority. Election khatam hone ko hai, and there are many issues uh, which are hanging in the air. <coughs> At such a juncture, I would request uh, our friend from Congress uh, to respond to another angle also. Uh, when 
नरेंद्र मोदी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर कैंडिडेट ऑफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी एडवेस अ प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस आफ्टर कास्टिंग इज वोट एट वडोदरा देर वॉज एन एफ आई आर विच वॉज फाइल अगेंस्ट हिम एट द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ इलेक्शन कमीशन एंड लेटर ऑन द प्रिलिमिनरी प्रोब रिजल्टेड इन टू समथिंग डिफरेंट बट इवन बिफोर दैट प्रिलिमिनरी प्रोब वॉज कंडक्टेड कांग्रेस लीडर्स वर क्विक टू जम्प विद देयर सेट ऑफ आइडियाज सो वेन things uh, became clear uh, rajendra ji that uh, he was 100 meters away from the place but by that time lot of uh, exchange of uh, critical comments and statements had already taken place so does uh, this as well as this snoop get uh, situation it it at the end of the day it reflects bad on the government or do you think uh, this is the way to go ashok ji it's very important for the people of the country to know why a uh, innocent lady was put under surveillance here is a man who is being projected as india's prime minister and who wants to be india's prime minister but why did he go why did he uh, violate the fundamental rights of a lady why did he uh, go against the indian telegraph act and he also not only conducted surveillance through the gujarat uh, government resources and the machinery but he also asked the karnataka government to conduct surveillance and they refused karnataka government bjp led government refused to <coughs> do a surveillance on this lady so and then uh, there's another uh, uh, angle to it is that that he gave uh, uh, contracts without tenders to this uh, lady madhuri's father so this all you know the country needs to know why uh, a man who is being projected as a prime minister and wants to be the prime minister is doing these things it's it's necessary for to know the nature of the person who is being projected as the country's uh, prime minister he doesn't answer media's questions he uh, he only goes to friendly media so it you know the country needs to know here is a person who is being projected as the prime minister what what uh, what type of a person he is so that is uh, my so, so uh, indeed that is a good uh, uh, question take. and uh, it is important to evaluate what kind of person he is uh, based on what you have heard uh, vibhuti ji so far about any uh, explanation or stand from bharatiya janata party or narendra modi has there been any clarity about this issue which uh, makes something uh, clear as you can make out it is entire politicking going on the congress party has run out of ammunition they have no record to back up they talk about modi being x y and z all kinds of accusations are being hurled at him and that's the whole problem the people have decided more than 400 300 seats have already been voted for balance 100 seats are to be fought so now they are raking up everything that is non existent for example <clears throat> the 100 feet 100 meter uh, thing that he showed his finger took a selfie it was proven that he was outside the range why make an issue out of that so these are the kind of things that they keep uh, hurling ab abuses at him and he is being attacked by not one but everybody it's like something sometimes you get a feeling that he is one man fighting many voldemorts the man you know the dark dark men around him because they know that they are fearing they are losing the election and as a result of which anything and everything flies it is political season it is campaign season go ahead but election results will show but the point here is this is a man who has proven his record there is no doubt about that that he, the gujarat was the most peaceful state during his run except for that incident which is of course to be condemned but the point is that what is the congress party's stand now they talk about corruption they talk about everything else but think about it like this you have manmohan singh as a prime minister academic genius <laughs> but he was a puppet he he, com, he he confessed that the entire thing his his inaction was due to the fact that he was victim of a coalition politics they know that people are not going to vote upa 3 at all for the simple reason that you will conf you will confront the same situation so now modi ji has proven that he has economic clout he has proven that he can work the numbers he has proven that the state can be a successful thing within the given environment and i have only one question to ask congress people but before you hurl stone at others look at your own record 
your record is full of corrupt acts, and let it be there, because people know about it, and I don't need to highlight that more. But in this uh, particular instance, uh, I mean, we're talking about the Snoopgate case here, uh, where a lady uh, is put uh, under surveillance without due process. This is a violation of her fundamental rights. And more importantly, it shows a pattern here. A pattern here. Mr. Mo Modi has shown very poor judgment when it comes to important issues, uh, be it the uh, privacy of individuals, be it the attitude to women, how they are treated in uh, public life, be it the right to uh, uh, information. Uh, it's very hard to get any information from the government of Gujarat today. And Mr. Modi has con consistently supported this kind of suppression of freedom and suppression of uh, rights of indiv individuals to question the government. And again, uh, lately in Assam, he made irresponsible statements. No, so I, I, I would we'll come to that. Yeah, I would just interrupt you here for but, but a second. The point is here uh, is because, that because what <coughs> happens is there is a due process for everything, uh, and we want to go towards Assam's reference, and which is very. There is only one thing that I want to make a mention here. He is talking about pattern. What pattern are we talking about? One event is a pattern. No, you, you talk, talk about, about Gujarat you, rights. You talk about the fact that uh, information is not available. Gujarat has been an open book for anybody to go and see what is happening there. So, the, and this man personally has been gone has gone through the most intense scrutiny by the party, my friend's uh, party in India represents. So, after all this scrutiny, he comes out a winner. And people are still making what the beautiful word in Hindi is lanchan lagaya ja raha hai. So uh, let me let answer, answer that question, Yashoji. Yeah, yeah, answer le, uh, answer ka samay aane wala hai. Aur Please. Kya lanchan uh, hai aur kya sahi hai. Uska jitna nirne hum baatcheet ke dwara yahan kar sakte hai. Wo nishchit rup se karenge. But this is the time to take a short break. And we'll be right back after this break. वेलकम बैक टू इनसाइड टू नाइट विद अशोक व्यास और आज के कार्यक्रम में हम बात कर रहे हैं प्रायोरिटीज की प्रायोरिटीज जो पॉलिटिक्स में हैं इन दिनों उस पर सवाल उठा रहे हैं हम अपने तौर पर और ब्रेक से जस्ट पहले रेफरेंस आया था आसाम में हुए हादसे का कहें हमले का कहें और उस तरफ बढ़ने से पहले आपको मैं निमंत्रित करना चाहता हूं इफ यू वांट टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन नाउ इज द टाइम दैट यू कैन स्टार्ट कॉलिंग इफ देयर इज एनी थिंग दैट यू फील यू वांट टू ऐड टू व्हाट आवर पैनलिस्ट आर सेइंग नाउ इज द टाइम दैट यू कैन आल्सो कॉल 7187843232 और 7183615999 एंड जॉइन द कॉन्वर्सेशन आसाम में जो हुआ वो बहुत शोचनीय बात है आसाम में बोडो आंदोलनकारियों ने निर्दोष लोगों को चुनाव के मतदान के बाद ये आरोप लगाते हुए कि उन्होंने उनके अनुसार वोट नहीं दिए जिस तरह से किलिंग की है वो निंदनीय ही नहीं है बल्कि उसके बारे में सरकार की तरफ से कड़े कदम उठाए जाने चाहिए बट हुआ ये है एंड आई कम बैक टू राकेश जी हु वॉज मैंशनिंग अबाउट दिस राइट आफ्टर दिस द इम्पॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट और स्टेटमेंट दैट वी हर्ड फ्रॉम अस डिप्टी सेंट्रल मिनिस्टर वॉज क्रिटिसाइजिंग मोदी स्टेटमेंट सेइंग दैट ही इज क्रिटिसिजम ऑफ इलीगल एंट्री ऑफ immigrants from bangladesh led to this now rather than owning the responsibility of maintaining law and order on the government level is it narendra modi who is the cause of all the problems does it put a question mark on the priority of the way we are analyzing the situation with that question i go back to you rakesh ji ji assam ka jo ek durbhagapurna ek ye samne aaya hai killing of uh, innocent people uh, mr uh, modi's role has not been very uh, positive either uh, it uh, basically it calls into question his leadership his uh, maturity in handling complex issues the the influx of uh, bangladeshis into india illegal bangladeshis into india is a immigration issue is a border security issue it's not a, a issue about minorities so when he steps into this Uh, this uh, uh, critical uh, problem or rather a, a, a crisis uh, situation he makes the most irresponsible statement he says all 
Bangla, uh, uh, all Muslims are Bangladeshis. And it's such a irresponsible statement coming from a leader who wants to be the prime minister of this country, instead of bringing communities together, instead of uh, uh, calming down ethnic tensions and passions, he makes an inflammatory statement uh, saying that all uh, uh, Bangladeshis are, uh, all Muslims are Bangladeshis. Uh, and let imagine, me just, uh, just let, let me, let me, just, come, let, let let me just counter check. Did he make this statement or it I, just I, I don't, yeah, I, I, I reading yeah. that he no, accused, no, no, no. He, I don't think he made a statement that all Muslims in Assam are Bangladeshis. Well, he made that I, No, no, he, he talked about the fact there is an authentic problem in that part of the, re, of the world. That there, is, there has been an overflow of illegal Bangladeshis migrating to Assam and Bihar and some of these areas, which is a greater problem in Bodo land there. And land acquisition has become a problem. Ownership is a problem. And he only said to, so to tell the Assamese people that we will attend to the problem of influx of Bangladeshi immigrants. And that is a government-to-government -government issue. He, he, can't, he, can't, he is not going to force everybody to walk away. He has to have a conversation with Bangladesh government for that. Absolutely. Just as in the United States, there is a constant conversation with Mexico about the influx of people coming here. So the, in terms of issue, that issue is valid. Because don't forget, when the 1971 war happened, Indira Gandhi had to wage the war for primarily to protect with the United States, telling the United States that there were 2.5 million Bangladeshis had come into India, and we are not such a rich country to absorb everybody and anybody. So there has to be some kind of a modicum of immigration control. Now, now who played the politics? This is very, I'm not at all saying that the incident and the tragedy that happened, nobody, nobody sane will, no sane person will ever justify that, and I condemn it as well. So let there be an investigation as to who, why did it happen, who did it, and let there be a report on that. Let's find out what happened about And that. Uh, going Ashurji. back to Rajendra Ji, uh, so quickly I just would add that uh, talking about priority, so is government looking at the ways to prevent exodus of victims, uh, families from that area? Or they would spend more time in uh, looking at uh, finding ways to criticize uh, any politician? There are a uh, couple of issues here, Ashokji, sure. which need to be taken into consideration. One, uh, you know, protecting our borders from immigrant uh, uh, immigrants, uh, protecting India's borders from uh, Ill Ill illegal uh, immigrants, which is very uh, important and from a national security point of view also. It needs to be taken care of. But, you know, the riots that took place, the exodus from Assam is higher than what uh, was the exodus from Gujarat after the 2002 riots. And you needed a leader who can come and unite people. But Mr. Modi has gone no, there no. again mm -hmm. and created a divide between people. This is a man who wants to be the Prime Minister of India, but he has not shown any qualities of uniting the people yeah. of India yeah. and providing the leadership to unite people. He has consistently been a divider of India. Can we uh, uh, trust this man to lead India unitedly? That is my question. So it will be I very dangerous to have a divider in India at this point of time. It will be catastrophe for the Indian people to have a divider. We need a person who can unite India and take India in one direction. So that is, uh, I think nobody would doubt that we need someone who unites and looks at India as a unity. And we would, you, what would you this say is, this about is where, that? This is where my problem lies with the current cr crop of politicians, the, the, the way they are hurling accusations at Mr. Modi. Again, there is an accusation. Again, there is a throwing a luncheon, a mitti peg those is that he is a divider. But here is the question, in Gujarat, in, during his rule, there has not been a single incident of Muslim-Hindu battles or killings of Muslims. The question that he has proven his credentials, that he's a uniter, is a, one of the, perhaps the best statement he ever made was that his religion is the constitution of India. He's Indian first, Gujarati second. This is, this is where the man comes from, his integral belief that India needs to progress economically, and all the problems Indians are suffering right now, low job, poor investments, and corruption, 
is all due to the fact that there is a machinery existing in India right now that does nothing else but has perpetuated a corrupt regime, corrupt practice. If you are able to eliminate that, you can do it with economic growth. Once that happens, I suppose a lot of other problems will go away at the same time. So, uh, Ashok Ji, let, uh, let me a let me make my caller and then we we'll continue. I'll, I'll talking about corruption. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Hello, ITV Live. Go ahead with your question, sir. Hello. Yes. Namaskar. Gani Khan Chaudhary. Ji ji. Chaudhary sir, firma hai kaise hain aap? Nahi. Gani Gani Khan Chaudhary, railway minister the. Acha. Wo Congress mein the. Tab unhone wo border open kar di thi Bangladeshi ke liye. Billions of Bangladeshi illegally India mein aaye the. Kaun se year ki baat hai? Pura time sir, India mein head mein aaya tha. Phir bhi Congress ne kuch bhi nahi kiya. तो अम, आप अभी जो नरेंद्र मोदी का वक्तव्य है उसको कितना जिम्मेवार मानते हैं ये जो आ, तो फिर से कहें मो, मोदी के पीछे तो सब पड़े हैं मोदी कुछ बोल मोदी साहब कुछ बोलते हैं तो उसका आ, उल्टा ही अर्थ लेते हैं सब लोग अच्छा आप हमारे साथ बने रहे राजेंद्र जी क्या कहना चाहते हैं इसके बारे में लेट्स हियर हम क्या मोदी टॉक्स अबाउट करप्शन इन कांग्रेस एंड अदर पार्टीज बट वॉट हैज ही डन इन गुजरात यू लुक एट हाउ मच लैंड इज गिवन टू द अदानी ग्रुप यू नो गिवन मोर देन ट्वेंटी एकर्स ऑफ लैंड एट वन रुपी पर एकर विच इज लाइक लाइक अ टॉफी you give one one acre per one one rupee and then look at his uh, uh, alignments also political alignments he talks he, he talks about corruption and then he goes to karnataka and uh, he brings back uh, yadurappa who's been indicted in corruption uh, scandals so there's no consistency you know he speaks about gujarat growth uh, uh, you know he, see, he says that gujarat is a model state for development but do you i i told you it's sixth in the uh, overall survey of the states uh, it's behind uh, maharashtra and andhra pradesh but, uh, so what what development are you talking yeah. about I, i don't understand that gujarat is the model of development the, you know it, yeah, he, he may have done uh, some development in the 10 years but he, it's not the model state for development yeah but you okay, let some, me uh, just interrupt uh, rajendra ji and before i go uh, to rakesh ji let's start a fresh look at the way things are unfolding for us in india so we all have heard modi wave modi wave some people believe it is there some people don't believe it is there and uh, in a recent interview uh, with uh, doordarshan while well, this question was asked to mr modi saying that prime minister is not uh, seeing any wave he said maybe uh, with a sense of satire that if you stay yes um uh, yeah so i'll i'll just finish this thought so he said that if you are uh, looking from ac room then you won't be able to feel the way things are functioning whether that is correct or not is up uh, for us uh, to decide but i would like uh, rakesh to respond to do you see any impact of uh, modi and if it is there why it is so well there's definitely a huge show of strength there's no question there's a huge show of strength from the bjp in uh, projecting uh, mr modi in varanasi and he's made these road shows and with uh, blaring megaphones and but he's not talked about any issues he talks about the city city's past the city's glory how its spiritual status but he has not addressed any of the current problems in the city he has not talked about education problems in the city he hasn't talked about the infrastructure issues with the issue with the roads are in a pathetic state the ghats are crumbling he's not talked about that he's not talked about the the high level of pollution in the river ganga there is a ganga uh, basin authority he's not talked about what so his I, plans I, I, are I so point, basically there's a, there's a lot of noise and, and we'll, we'll continue there's a lot yeah. of noise but yeah, little hello, substance hello hello live hello ha ji namaskar हाँ जी नमस्कार जी बात कराओ हमारी भी हाँ जी बात कर रहे हैं ना आप बोले आप आपका शुभ नाम हाँ शोक जी नमस्कार 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 ये जो ओपी कपूर बोल रहा हूँ हाँ जी कपूर साहब फरमाए वो ऐसा है कि सारे कांग्रेस वाले के अपने वेदे से मुकर गए हैं कि इलीगल इमिग्रेंट को निकालना है इस बार इन्होंने कोशिश करी दिल्ली में जगह जगह जो इलीगली इमिग्रेंट बांग्लादेश से आए हैं और हर एक ने अपना नाम शंकर रख लिया है आके 
उनको नकारने की कोशिश तो शुरू से हुई लेट राजेंद्र जी रिस्पॉन्ड कह रहा है देशी है हमारे पास जगह नहीं है तो इनको तकलीफ क्या हो रही है इनका क्या स्टैंड है वालों का ओके इलीगल इमिग्रेंट ओके सर लिसन लिसन टू राकेश जी एज से अबाउट इलीगल इमिग्रेंट स्टैंड ऑफ ए आप ही इलीगल इमिग्रेशन पे हम लोगों की पॉलिसी है आम आदमी पार्टी की पॉलिसी है दैट इलीगल इमिग्रेशन मस्ट बी स्टॉप्ड द बॉर्डर सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस मस्ट बी स्ट्रेंथन देर मस्ट बी बेटर सर्वेलेंस ऑन द बॉर्डर बट यू एंड आई ordinary person on the street has no right to say this person is illegal there must be policies and procedures yeah, in place that resolve this address this problem but you and i cannot take law in our hands and say oh this person is illegal his name is shankar his, his real name is no, some no, no. we cannot take law in our hands and that's the kind of mindset bjp has consistently shown whenever there is a complex issues they just raise their hands and says we can't deal with it let's call our <coughs> supporters and let's take to the streets that kind Now, of this is very interesting the, we will yeah. see because i let me just put one little connection sure. link sure. because most of the time aam aadmi party has received uh, this label of being anarchist but in this case uh, what rakesh is saying that bjp is behaving as if it is not uh, ready to follow any system once again we see the same attack being made the attack is again as you as you saw just now that modi has not taken any leadership action in varanasi he is only doing blaring speech making hello ji ji sunne sunne ji the matter remains that it's election time i think everybody is blaring on the on the speaker phone as is as is uh, what you call uh, uh, mr uh, mr arvin kejriwal but one actionable point which addresses each one of the concerns that modi said in varanasi that my first priority in varanasi is i'll clean the city now think about it that that varanasi falls within uttar pradesh or jo bhi state mein abhi hai wo mulayam singh mulayam yadav or maya devi have been running that entire area nobody not, not talked varanasi. about mayawati nobody talked about cleaning varanasi and i have been to varanasi it's the holiest of holy places for hindus and there there is so much of dirt and filth around so if this man says i'm going to take an action and clean the city guess what happens infrastructure gets attended to immediately every problem of the city will has to have solved from a beginning point and he addressed that that i'll begin cleaning the city there can't be a better example of leadership commitment and priority you can't build a bridge overnight but i can definitely start a cleaning process of the city to make it look beautiful this is where the action comes but i i fervently hope and pray that congress and our people instead of hurling abuses at that energy start thinking about that does he make sense in what he says Uh, Ashok so, ji, one second. Uh, My friend has, uh, yeah. you know, talked yeah. about Narendra. Yeah, yeah. Narendra Modi's uh, plans to clean Ganga, but it was the Congress it. government yeah. under Rajiv Gandhi in 1986, which allotted a huge amount of funds Sir, we are to clean Ganga. Clean Ganga. Clean, cleaning Ganga was a project for which World Bank money came for that. Yeah, but it was so, it was it was pursued by the Rajiv Gandhi government. But in this election, he has said he will clean the city. He didn't talk but, about well, cleaning Ganga. Well, yeah, one second, please. Let me answer that question, Mr. Murli. manohar joshi was in charge there municipal uh, administration is yours uh, state administration was yours well, uh, in varanasi we are talking what so why did it take 5 uh, years to realize that there is a problem with the ganga well yes is so it <laughs> and our friend kapoor sahab from uh, yes ji aap ab to diya hi nahi inhone nahi nahi bole aap sun sun rahe hain sab sun rahe hain aapki baat kahe nahi ye jawab de hain ki illegal immigrant ko nakarna chahiye ki nahi unhone kaha nakarna chahiye नहीं निकालना तो आपका काम नहीं है तो उसने कुछ नहीं स्टेट का काम है आपका और मेरा काम नहीं है, है। अब आप उनकी बात सुने जी एक बार फिर से कहें फिर से कहें मैं ये कहता हूँ कि इलीगल जो इमिग्रेशन का इशू है वो स्टेट पॉलिसी का एक विषय है उसमें मेरा रोल नहीं, नहीं, नहीं कि हम जाके कहें कि आप इलीगल हम आपको निकालते हैं और हमारे पार्टी सपोर्टर्स आके कहें घर घर जाके लोग राकेश जी जब वो कह रहे हैं तो आपको उनकी बात सुननी पड़ेगी ताकि आप जी 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 इनका क्या राय है इनकी राय यह है कि सरकार इस पर निर्णय लेगी आम आदमी इसके बारे में एक्शन लेगा तो अव्यवस्था हो जाएगी ना जी ना इनकी तो सरकार बनी नहीं है इन्होंने दूसरों की बनने नहीं देनी पंजाबी में कहते हैं ना खेलना ना खेलने देना कुत्ती में मूतना 
तो मुझे लगता है आपकी बात इन तक पहुंच गई है और आप यही होना है इलेक्शन के बाद ना इन्होंने कांग्रेस को डिफीट करना है ना करने देना है देखिए जी जो आम आदमी पार्टी का रोल है वो उनका ये नहीं कि आप पावर ग्रैब कर ले किसी तरह अपने आप सांसद में आ जाए और किसी तरह आप अपने उनका ये है कि देश में एक बदलाव हो गवर्नेंस में बदलाव हो ऑनेस्ट रिस्पॉन्सिबल गवर्नेंस हो एक ट्रांसपेरेंसी हो एक लोगों की एक साझेदारी हो पार्टिसिपेटरी गवर्नेंस हो आप ये चेंजेस वो लाना चाहते हैं और उस चेंजेस के लिए जरूरी नहीं कि आपके इतने 50 सीट्स आ जाएं, 100 सीट्स आ जाएं, हमारा फोकस सीट्स पे है ही नहीं हमारा सीट्स है कि फंडामेंटल शिफ्ट होना चाहिए इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स में और वो हो रहा है आप देखिए वो हो रहा है ये कहना है कि वो आमूल या आधारभूत परिवर्तन करना चाहते हैं व्यवस्था में पर वाराणसी में आगे कार्य कहते हैं हम देश भगत हैं हम जनता के नुमाइंदे हैं जनता को लिए काम करते हैं तो किसी पार्टी को ज्वाइन कर लेते हैं या सारी पार्टियां बेकार हैं इनकी नजर में तो इसके बारे में हम चर्चा करने तो वाले हैं इस ब्रेक के बाद में राजेंद्र जी को फिर से मैं निवेदन कर रहा हूँ हमारे साथ बने रहे और आप दिल्ली का जी आपने जो कॉल किया और हमारे साथ आपने कुछ नए बिंदु जोड़े उसके लिए आपका धन्यवाद करते हुए हम बढ़ते हैं इस छोटे से ब्रेक की तरफ राइट बैक आफ्टर दिस ब्रेक प्रोग्राम वेलकम बैक यूर वॉचिंग इन साइड टूनाइट शो ग्रास हम आज बात कर रहे हैं प्रायोरिटीज की और प्रायोरिटीज को लेते हुए अब हम चर्चा करने वाले हैं थोड़ी थोड़ी वाराणसी और अमेठी की और वो सारी बातें जो राजेंद्र जी हमें कहना चाहते हैं उनकी तरफ बढ़ने से पहले फिर मैं ये जोड़ दूं कि एक बात ये आती रही हमारे सामने जब से प्रियंका गांधी ने मोर्चा संभाला अमेठी में लोगों ने ये कहना शुरू कर दिया क्योंकि अधिकतर प्रियंका गांधी के वक्तव्य नरेंद्र मोदी के वक्तव्य सो इट स्टार्टेड अपियरिंग एज इफ प्रियंका वर्सेस मोदी तो इस तरह से क्या राहुल गांधी हाशिए पर चले गए और पहले उन्होंने ये कहा था कि वो अमेठी और रायबरेली में ही कैंपेन करेंगी उस पर उन पर यह आरोप लगाया गया कि वो अपने भाई और माँ के अलावा और किसी स्थान पर कैंपेन करने क्यों नहीं जा रही है खबर यह भी आई थी कि वो वाराणसी में जाकर भी कैंपेन करना चाहती हैं और आज फिर से ये खबर उभर कर आई है कि सात मई को अमेठी में चुनाव होने के बाद शायद वो जाएंगी वाराणसी में पर प्रियंका गांधी क्या बहुत देर के बाद कांग्रेस कैंपेन में इतना सक्रिय हुई है जब तक कि कांग्रेस की स्थिति बहुत खराब हो चुकी है हो चुकी है राजनीतिक विश्लेषकों के अनुसार वॉट डू यू थिंक राजेंद्र Well, uh, Ashok ji, you are forgetting that Priyanka also campaigned in 2004 and 2009 in Raibareli Ra and yeah. Amethi also. See, even this election, she is campaigning in Raibareli and Amethi, and she will do. Uh, she will take up whatever responsibilities you, the party gives her. Yeah. But I will tell you, as far as the Congress party is concerned, Rahul ji has brought great energy into the party. He has brought a democratic process into the Youth Congress, and he is bringing. Uh, processes and procedures in place. Uh, after a very long time, you've seen elections being held uh, within the organization, right from the ground level till the uh, youth congress and uh, uh, the student bodies and all. So you see a definite uh, change in the way uh, congress is functioning. He's bought, bought uh, a very good uh, talent, educated people. From all across uh, the board. So, Rajendra, I have to interrupt you just to uh, share with you certain facts that there are many big Congress leaders who have uh, refused uh, or rather shown their reluctance to contest election this time around, which has been uh, seen or interpreted as if uh, they feel they are not going to win. That is one thing. Secondly, uh, recently in uh, Gujarat, one of the Congress leader after election, he himself. Uh, up front uh, came and uh, declared that he is going to lose. So is Congress uh, facing a bad moral because of certain policies that has been implemented by the leadership of Rahul Gandhi? Ashokji, I do not uh, agree with your uh, assessment because all the senior leaders, whether it is Manish Ankarayar, Gulam Nabi Azad, no, Chidambaram is retiring. He doesn't want to contest. He gave, his, he gave the seat to his son. But you see, Gulam Nabi Azad, Manish Ankarayar, even though they are in the Rajya Sabha, they are contesting elections. So I do not know where you are directing the fact that uh, senior leaders are not uh, uh, contesting and shying away from their responsibilities. And the second question, 
Uh, what was the second uh, question that you put? Uh, is uh, Priyanka Gandhi taking away the limelight from Rahul? No, uh, she's only helping uh, Rahul ji. Uh, and she's done that in 2004 and 2009, and uh, she will continue to uh, take up any responsibilities that the party thinks will fit her uh, role and charisma. But right now, as the Congress party is concerned, uh, Rahul ji is the head of the Congress campaign committee, and he's, he's uh, leading the Congress charge. And uh, as I said, he's, got, he's bringing great energy and a great team. And his results, you know, will show not only in these elections, but in the future, you'll see a much more energetic, so, much more so, uh, so, uh, organizationally yeah. strong uh, party. Yeah, one, one more question to you, and then we'll go to Varanasi and we'll talk about Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, in the light of the new uh, article that came about him in New York Times. But about Rahul Gandhi, someone asked him, how many years have he represented this constituency? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. So they asked him to name five volunteers who has supported him or whom he considers are the active Congress members from his constitu constituency, Amiti. And he failed to even give five names. So what kind of... Uh, I, I do not know from where they got the story. And I do not know the authenticity of the uh, story that they have published. Okay, do you... But I'll tell you one thing. I will tell you one thing. Ashok, please. You tell me another thing. I will tell you one thing. You tell me one more thing. Do you know how many times he has visited his constituency in the last five years? So, uh, I, uh, from what I read in the newspapers, he's been visiting his constituency uh, very regularly, and he has a team uh, stationed in Amethi that uh, listens to the people's issues and addresses them, and also brings it to Rahul. But there are Gordes. no results in Amethi. I mean, <laughs> well, if he's, I, 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 if he's well, visiting Amethi regularly, as you claim, uh, look at the condition of the roads, look at the condition of primary education, look at the condition of primary mm -hmm. health. It's pathetic in Amethi. And well, you, my friend, no, and this is a very Amethi is better off than many no, districts no, no, in no, Uttar uh, Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh we, is we generally be, a backward state. We have to but be, within that, Amethi, I think Amethi, Amethi is not, much, no, no, much better off. We have to be fair here. And the fair criticism is that Rahul may be good intentioned, no question he's instituted some reforms in the party, like you mentioned, uh, starting the primary process in Delhi for selecting candidates. So all these things are welcome, or like BJP has started this process of consulting the public in, uh, in formulating their uh, agenda, though they did not come out with the manifesto until much late, uh, much later. So, but the issue that uh, Ashokji is pointing out, that the, the leadership is disconnected with the people. He cannot name five party workers. That shows that this is the continuation of dynastic politics, that this is father to son, son to daughter and all that, and they are disconnected with the cadre. They are disconnected with their workers. If you can't name who the people you work, who I, are working with you, I do not know the authenticity issue. of this story. But you, well, it is, an, it is a New York Times, so you but have to... he has bought many medium scale and small scale industries to Amethi. Amethi has uh, seen great development in the last 10 years. I can, I can give you the, provide you no, the statistics no. like every, I did last time. Every and I will tell you one thing. Unlike Modi, he's very confident from, from winning from Amethi because he, that's the only constituency he's con no, contesting. You, please, please, please. No, no, I, one second, one second. Why do you have to bring Ashok Modi? Ji. No, no, no. Modi is contesting from uh, Ahmedabad and uh, from uh, Varanasi. Varanasi. So it shows he's not confident uh, of well, winning from one constituency, but Rahul ji is not uh, is both parties. Here, let me kind of say here something. Indira Gandhi ji also contested from Rai Bareli and Chikmagalur. The times were different, my friend. Again. <laughs> I'm just giving you an example. So there are any instances of politicians fighting elections for but, uh, more than one constituency. But that's... what he said just now was very correct. It's a dynastic thing going on. You talk about development in Amethi. Congress party doesn't have rank and file leadership. Why is it the family only has to run the country? The second part, I just saw a tweet which came on the thing. A foreign correspondent wrote, Amethi is in total darkness. The only place that has light is the, is the family headquarters. And the, to which somebody said, Andher Nagri Chopat Raja. Andher Nagri Chopat Raja, BJP Congress dono ne kiya hai. Agar ye na kiya hota to Ahmadi party would not have come into the scene. There, this is a, this is a problem. Rakesh ji, people have given you mandate in Delhi. Right. You, you shied away from the mandate. Right. And you you, you moved away from the people's the mandate. mandate. So uh, if if they hand you over another responsibility, I'm sure you'll the, shy away. Exactly. exactly. Mandate, so I do not know what uh, type of uh, no, the, the you know, mandate, responsibility the you're talking about. The mandate was issue based. The mandate was that you govern Delhi, provided there is support on these critical issues. And one of the main manifesto promises 
promises to the uh, to the voters in Delhi was that we'll bring Jan Lokpal bill to prosecute uh, people who so have. Uh, you 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 I, said I, you will bring. You will said you said you will bring Jan Lokpal bill, but it was Rahul ji who introduced no, it to no, the no, parliament no. and got it passed. And you talk about corruption, Rakesh ji. Arvind Kejriwal was campaigning in Varanasi. And there was the India Today conclave happening in Delhi, and the media sent him a private plane, and he uh, took the private plane and uh, went uh, went and attended the India Today conclave. So he talks about austerity, he talks about principles, he talks about corruption. So what is he doing? He's going against his own word. Let, he let, says he'll live let, he'll, let, he'll live like a Aam Aadmi. He he took a six bedroom apartment in Delhi after he became the chief minister. Up. Let me respond to that. These are small instances. It may show lack of judgment. I agree with you. Right. That when you when you profess austerity, when you profess that I am an and if you do something that takes away from that kind of image, yes, it's a... Uh, you are losing your but, credibility, you know, but sir. But you cannot equate the fact that under Congress's rule for 10 years, 16% of India's GDP was lost to corruption. Corruption in uh, in politics, corruption in uh, business, corruption in uh, you name all walks of life. 16, no, no, which no, is 500, no, 550 I, 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 billion dollars. I, I, uh, this no, is no, very I, important. Yeah. You so just 550, you just heard. 550 just, billion dollars every year is lost to corruption. My, India is a two trillion dollar economy. It's no, not no. a small economy. Rakesh ji, I agree with you that corruption is a very big issue in India. It has to be dealt with severe uh, uh, laws and uh, rules. And it was the Congress government. Please uh, remember, it was the Congress government that got the Chan Lokpal bill. You, people me, are ta people have talked about corruption, but we have brought the Jan Lokpal see, bill into a, the parliament and got it passed. I would request your uh, patience to listen to our viewers. And hello, ITV Live. Namaskar. Namaskar. Ji, you are live uh, with Inside Tonight. Aapka shubh naam? Mahindra Bhatt. Mayur Ji, haan. Aap kya sochte hain? Are you with us? Yes. जी जी अभी हम जो बात कर रहे हैं वो करप्शन को लेते हुए अरविंद केजरीवाल जी और कांग्रेस जिस तरह से इस इश्यू पर कांग्रेस वाले भाई को मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ जी कि राहुल जहाँ जहाँ पर गए थे राज्यसभा की इलेक्शन में वहाँ सब वहाँ पर तो कांग्रेस हार गई थी राज्यसभा के विधानसभा के विधानसभा के � नहीं आप कौन सी कौन सी इलेक्शंस के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं राज्यों के चुनाव हुए थे ना अभी जस्ट पहले विधानसभा के तो जहाँ जहाँ राहुल ने कैंपेन किया था जैसे राजस्थान हुआ मध्य प्रदेश हुआ उड़ीसा हुआ इस सब वी वी वर डूइंग बैडली इन दो स्टेट्स एनीवे बट ही इज बॉट ग्रेट चेंज इन द over a period of time, you will see the uh, groundwork and the uh, vision that he's put into the uh, organizational setup in, uh, for the Congress party. So and also, but I'll move on and let's take another call. Hello, ITV Live. Hello. Yes, sir. Welcome. Yeah, I'm trying to go come into your program. That's a soap the ass one, right? Yes, yes, yes. What's your name, sir? My name is BK. DK, yeah. Tell us, uh, what do you think about... I, I have only one question. They are talking about the corruption. Mm -hmm. And uh, whom I'm talking to? You are talking to everybody, whosoever you want to uh, address to. Uh, everybody is listening to you. Uh, let's let's go quick because we have very a uh, few minutes left. Uh, okay, but I, I see that uh, nobody is uh, talking... Listening to me on the screen. That's why I was just no, no, no. That, that's how you see one one on the screen. But you go ahead. They are listening to you in the studio. Now, my only thing is here. I want to know. Everybody is talking about corruption. All the politi polit uh, political party uh, does not uh, go with that one. Mean everybody give the ticket to all the criminals and everything. That's that's not correcting a cor corruption. I, I, I think that's a very valid point. point, and all the parties are culprit to this, uh, and Amadi Party is not exception to that. Well, uh, uh, let me so respond no, to that. In today's in the current uh, Lok Sabha, 30 percent criminals. Yeah, DK, listen to him. 30 percent yeah. criminals are in Lok Sabha, and they are from all parties, whether it's BJP, Samajwadi Party, Congress. They have equal share in the number of criminal criminals who are in Lok Sabha, and they have committed serious crimes like rape, murder, or extortion. Okay. And so now yeah. the, the new Lok Sabha, 16th Lok Sabha elections that we are uh, witnessing now, all parties have again put up criminal candidates. 10 percent Congress, 10, 12 percent. 
कांग्रेस एंड बीजेपी समाजवादी पार्टी अगेन फोर्टी आम आदमी पार्टी आम आदमी पार्टी हैज टू थ्री कैंडिडेट एंड दे वर इन्वेस्टिगेटेड एंड देर डिनाइड दिट बी मोर इफ यू चेक योर फैक्ट बेस्ड ऑन वॉट आई हैव रेड बट आई गो टू विभूति झा जी नाउ वॉट इज द स्टैंड ऑफ नरेंद्र मोदी एंड भारतीय जनता पार्टी इन ऑर्डर टू टेक केयर ऑफ दिस इश्यू ऑफ करप्ट एंड क्रिमिनल एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट क्वेश्चन केम अबाउट करप्शन नाउ and criminals and criminals yes why not uh, <clears throat> the question here is something i will just precede that what mr my up friend said that mr uh, kejriwal made certain j- judgmental errors and he should be forgiven for that why not the same yardstick for everybody else that's of thought for you my question here is question talking about corruption corruption has been an endemic problem in india it's not somebody because people want to be corrupt <clears throat> the corruption is because of the system that we have been practicing in india mrs gandhi also made the, uh, the made that statement he wants to interrupt you yeah just both person can i talk together if you want to to hear then hear this one no no so now you keep quiet so that you can listen to him only he is speaking now so if you uh, stay quiet you will be able to listen to him yeah go ahead mrs gandhi was the first one to say that corruption is a global phenomenon and that's right in in a way that india has been hurting because of corruption forever because of the policies the procedures the systems that we have poor economic growth government control of everything and that's what mr modi is trying to do is to open up the economy in a real sense although the liberalization process started way back in 1991 mr the aam aadmi party has come on the banner of corruption it reminds me of one one thing mrs gandhi gave the country perhaps the world one of the finest slogans to fight an election garibi hatao congress party brings the food bill in 2013 corruption he, the, the aam aadmi party is making corruption as an issue as if it was garibi hatao but unless or until you attend to the basic factors that lead to that situation you cannot eliminate so corruption one second, second. so for example for example yeah, when you get to, we are just running yeah. out of time one and second. just 20 seconds yeah off. go ahead uh, th- uh, uh, you're right uh, vibhuti ji uh, you know uh, the basic fundamental needs of a common man should be addressed and congress has done that we have given the country food security bill right to employment it took you as many years uh, right to employment right. please think about it right to employment yeah. <clears throat> f- f- uh, right to information we've uh, given the country the uh, st- study no, economy no, 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 in spite of the whole world going to recession the, 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 there was no recession in india for the last 10 years worked only for the corrupt politicians of congress party and their allies well, they well, became wealthy well let's let, uh, let me also let me talk about the 10 seconds. years that the congress now, government now uh, the time has did. come where we cannot continue to share our ideas on air but indeed you can continue to think about what they said and uh, i appreciate dkg for joining us at the later half of this show and stay with us as we have more shows coming up to be asked before you go yeah. we'll say only one thing any of the part finish finish quick yeah right right here that any all these party can promise that they will not give a ticket to any of the criminal for the future election i think that's a very we valid point on uh, that and we've delivered that and one uh, thought that came from narendra modi in one of his interviews was that in one year they'll try to have a fast judiciary right. system uh, to figure out who is a criminal if they have already won but uh, there are many more things that we wanted to touch today looking at the time constraint we would uh, thank uh, our panelists uh, rajender ji um, thank you rakesh ji and vibhuti ji uh, for Thanks representing so all uh, their thank parties you. and bringing different point of views as well as all of you for joining uh, this debate and uh, stay with us um, in more programs of insight tonight every monday we specially have a political show but they are likely to be more political show in next two weeks as we are getting in the full swing of the final phase of uh, polling in india um, thanks uh, with lots of good wishes uh, this is ashok vyas good night